Okay, so te teaching to large groups uh, poses a lot of um, challenges to teachers, uh, whether these are language teachers or whether these are content teachers teaching in a foreign language. Um, in fact, you're really wanting to put your students in a communicative context, but you're constrained by large student cohorts, um, maybe, you know, impractical um, lecture settings like fixed seating. Uh, and so I've We've been very interested in looking at how um, other teachers in other universities have developed techniques um, for, uh, um, you know, making actively engaging students uh, in their learning experience. Uh, and so. Um, I just gave a, a workshop here um, training teachers in such techniques as um, the one minute paper, uh, think pair share activities, uh, but also maybe more complicated uh, uh, ones as um, buzz groups uh, or even Philip 66 which are uh, involve uh, you know uh, breaking up your students into very large groups um, it was very interesting to see uh, that uh, teachers are actually really prepared to be very um, innovative in their um, uh, approach uh, and that we do in fact re reflect on our own practices and we benefit from hearing um, each other's uh, experiences and so um, I I think really there is a need for teachers to collaborate, exchange their views, um, uh, you know, reflect on their teaching practices and on each other's uh, teaching practice. And so um, doing these types of workshops where you were actually confronting, um, well, we had mostly uh, language uh, teachers, but also a couple of um, uh, content teachers, it's, it's nice to see that, in fact, we're all trying to do the same thing, which is, you know, help our students develop the language uh, skills and competences that they need to go through um, a university uh, studies.